I'm wearing my marketing association sweatshirt for good luck. Keep refreshing the page. I'm so like nervous. Ugh. I was admitted to both. Yes. Oh my gosh. Oh, yay. Marketing and experience design status admit. Oh, yay. Oh my goodness. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for this video, I'm going to go into a little bit about my application to BYU Provo and to the Marriott School of Business at BYU. Just a quick disclaimer, um, not everyone is the exact same. Just because I did this doesn't mean that you'll have the exact same outcome if you do the exact same thing. There, It all just depends on what you do, but this is just what I did and what allowed me to go to BYU and to get accepted into the business school. And without further ado, let's get started. So let's start out with the BYU application. So the BYU application, it's been a while now. I think it's been like two or three years since I've applied. So I'm a little bit rusty. There's more things obviously, but these are the six that I focused on. So first is GPA. So they look at your GPA. I know um, I didn't have like the greatest GPA, but I attribute that to taking kind of harder classes in high school. But my GPA was still pretty good. I had all mostly A's and B's. Um, if I were to like put a number on it, I think it would have been like a 3.7 or a 3.8. I don't remember exactly, but that was non-weighted. The second thing that I focused on was my ACT score. So my ACT, I took eighth grade to ninth grade, ninth to 10th, 10th to 11th, the summer in between each of those grades. And so I took it three times. The last one was my final score. Um, I got above average of the ACT average of BYU, but I also know people who got above average and I know people who got below average who did and didn't get in. I'm not sure how much of a factor your a ACT score is. I just wanted to make sure I got above it, so. Third thing that I focused on really heavily actually was extracurriculars. So since my grades weren't the best, I did a lot of clubs. I was a part of National Honor Society. I did DECA, which was business. Um, Meet a Wee Club, which was service. I did Green Team, which was service. I was a part of the cheer team and I was a part of a dance team for 12 plus years. All these clubs are meant to show like commitment and like school spirit and like extra things that you do. I actually like created like a little sock design that I'll put right here. All the profits that I made, I put into our prom fund. It was a really fun experience. Fourth thing that I like looked into were AP classes. So I know a lot of you guys are probably like thinking about AP classes. First thing I would say is to look at which credits transfer to BYU because like a lot of my friends who took AP credits, not a lot of theirs transferred. So I took AP classes my all like freshman to junior year and I, I just was not good at the AP tests. I would like somehow I was just awful at them and so none of my credits from AP tests transferred. If you do get good scores and they do transfer, go you. So since my AP classes didn't transfer, my fifth thing that I focused on was Running Start. And Running Start is um, like, I went to my community college and I took classes there and then those credits transferred to BYU. And that was honestly the best thing I could have done. Um, I only did my senior year. I got out of American Heritage, which I highly recommend you try to get out of if you can. I got out of biological science, social science, letters, um, quantitative reasoning, languages of learning. So I got out of quite a few classes, which was really good for me. I highly recommend doing that if you're like not sure about your AP um, credits. And then the sixth thing that I focus on were my essays. So the application essays, I think they give you four or five essays that you have to write. And um, well, for any application that you do, you should always have people look at your essays or like kind of help you bounce ideas off of. So I use my dad a lot and my sister, um, mostly my dad for these essays. And let's see, there were five essays. Two of them I was like really, really confident and proud on. And then like the other three were kind of like, 
a little bit less, but I knew that they were well written. So um, just these essays, I would just show like your passion and like what you would add to the campus. So that's the BYU application, not too much actually. I would say that the BYU application was pretty stressful because I didn't have as much like um, experience. I, I honestly don't know what is most like heavily weighed. I, I personally think that the essays are pretty heavily weighed just because there's five of them, but I could be wrong. But those essays I feel like were my main strength in throughout this whole application. That was the BYU application. You guys can go ahead and comment or DM me more questions about that application, but those are like the six things that I focused on. Um, GPA, ACT score, extracurriculars, AP classes, running start, and then your essays. So now I'll talk a little bit about the business school application to the Marriott School of Business. So I applied to marketing and experience design management. Um, I know people who did like accounting and finance and stuff, and those ones are a little bit different. Their applications just like look a little bit different. We'll first start out with experience design. So experience design was um, kind of like my second choice, my backup. I've always wanted to do marketing, so I knew that marketing was my number one. But experience design, you take your um, prereq classes, so your GPA is looked at, and then there's a short, short, short essay, and then they have you do a video, make your own video, which was really nice because I have made a lot of videos, so I was able to make this nice video um, about like why you're unique, and then they look at your resume. And so that one was pretty short and sweet, and um, I got that one done pretty quickly. Now I'll go into the marketing application. So like the BYU application, there were a ton of steps that I took to make sure that my application was really like meaty, beefed up, had a lot of experience. Cause the marketing application is unique in the business school in the sense that they look heavily at experience and they consider your grades. They look heavily on experience and your passion for marketing. So I had eight things that I focused on. So first was GPA, GPA of um, both your BYU GPA and um, the prereq GPA. So the prereqs that you had to take were accounting, finance, marketing, and information systems. So they, they recommend for marketing to have above a 3.0 for all four of those. Um, I had slightly above a 3.0, I think I had like a 3.3. And so I didn't have the best GPA. I knew that even though grades were a consideration, so was experience and um, passion. So I made sure to focus on experience and passion um, for the rest of my application. So first was GPA, second thing that I focused on was clubs. And so since I knew I wanted to be a part of the marketing program early when I came to BYU, I immediately joined clubs. Um, as a freshman, all clubs are free. Once you get out of your freshman year, they cost different amounts. I think $10 is like the most, like usually the amount. So I joined marketing association. I joined women in business, BYUSA, BYU alumni. Um, SHRM, which is which was HR. I wanted to do HR my freshman year. YSERV, yeah, I think those are like the main ones that I joined. And so I joined a ton of them. And if you want to go into marketing or a specific club, uh, a specific major, find the club that matches that major. So marketing association obviously was a huge factor for marketing. Um, there's also a finance club and then accounting club and there's like each clubs for different majors. So go and find those clubs and get experience through those. Um, within those clubs, I always made sure to find a marketing position or like volunteer for marketing positions or social media positions, any way that I could help to gain experience through that. One of the main like clubs that I joined was BYU Student Alumni and I was part of the marketing team for a food drive so we like created a photo shoot and we had a photo shoot with Cosmo it was so 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 much fun and we did a whole bunch of stuff um so I highly recommend doing clubs they're a lot of fun you meet new people and you have amazing experiences I would have never been able to get this picture of Cosmo and marketing association is huge 
for the marketing application. They literally like record how many times you go to an event and they look at it. Third is networking and uh, I had the ability to network with a whole bunch of people within the Marriott School because my sister, she was in it. So she introduced me to a lot of her friends or her teachers and professors. It was really great. I am really grateful that she was able to be my mentor basically. And a lot of people recognized me as her sister and she just like led the path for me and I really appreciate that. But networking is a huge part of um, just like any business world type of thing. Um, they literally ask you on your application, like, do you know anyone in the Marriott School of Business? And like, how do you know them? So I was able to list a ton of people that I knew. Also for networking and clubs, I was able to go on a networking trip to Boston where I met these lovely ladies and we networked with a whole bunch of different companies, but it was a great way to practice networking. Um, usually only juniors and seniors can go, but if they have extra spots, sophomores could go. The fourth thing that I did was my freshman year, winter semester, I decided to do an on-campus internship. So um, it was a class, but we were assigned like we, were, we got into a group, they assigned us a group, and then they assigned you like a company. We had Salt Lake Bride and we were the social media managers. So we took care of their Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, and their blog posts. So we took turns like doing each of those. And it was a great, it was a great like learning experience because I had no experience before just kind of doing things for a business. I highly recommend doing an on-campus internship if you can't find any jobs or other internships. They like will accept you even if you're an undergraduate. So it's a great way to gain that experience. They have like finance ones I think too and other ones for different majors. So highly recommend an on-campus internship. Um, the fifth thing that I did was after I did that on-campus internship, I decided I wanted to apply for a job and um, a job in marketing and digital media, that kind of thing. And so I applied to a lot of on-campus jobs. I was hired at the Daily Universe, which is the campus newspaper as a marketing assistant. And so when I first joined, I was super nervous. I had only done the on-campus internship as like kind of my uh, stepping stone into marketing. So I was really nervous, but my manager at the time was so amazing and we had so much fun. We planned events, we did social media posts, we did a whole ton of giveaways. It was lots and lots of fun. And I learned a lot under my manager. She, um, she then graduated and had a job. So then I kind of moved up and we hired a new assistant and it has just been so much fun. I love my job so much. I learn a lot about marketing and digital media. We started a TikTok for the Daily Universe. We're starting a newsletter. We have a whole bunch of fun things planned for the fall, virtual events, everything. Um, so actually, also with my work, uh, Aubrey is my coworker. She's my marketing other half. And she actually got into the marketing program too. So yay, Aubrey, we're gonna be in it together. And so we have been able to do a whole lot, a whole bunch with the Daily Universe and marketing. And we got to go to San Francisco for a marketing advertising conference, which was so much fun. And I just love my job. It has been the best. And um, by far, this is, this is like the thing that makes my resume like pop because I have this major experience. Even if you like are working at the BYU bookstore, ask to see if you can do anything to help marketing or anything like that. You can just volunteer yourself and then you can write about it or have that experience under your belt for later. The sixth thing I did was take a whole bunch of business classes. So other than the prereqs, you have your major classes and you can take a couple of those major classes before you even get into the major. So I took MCOM, which is like business writing. I took stats. I took um, a math class that you're supposed to take. Um, let's see, I took career development, which they opened up for sophomores last winter. I'm not sure if they're gonna do it, keep doing it. Yeah, I just took a whole bunch of classes that like kind of beefed up my resume, showing that I had a passion for the major and that I wanted to like complete everything. 
Oh, sorry about that. I, my battery, no, not my battery. My card got full, so I had to change the card. But um, let's see, where were we? So now with the application itself, um, those were all things that I just did to kind of like gain experience and beef up my resume. But for the application itself, they look at your grades, like I said, and so that's automatic. They ask you who you know in the business program. You have an essay, a video interview, and your resume that you put onto the application as well. So the essay, st I started the essay so long ago. Like I started it when it first came out. I started brainstorming. Um, I think it's, it's 600 words. And so I started out with a 900 word essay and I had to narrow it down to 600 words. Very stressful, I didn't like narrowing it down, but I did it. Um, I literally bounced it back between me and my sister so many times, like she was my main editor for it and then at the end I had my dad edit. It was a great way to show and explain exactly what I did. Um, I did a lot of par stories, which you should always do in interviews and you should show like how you solved a problem. I discussed how the marketing program has been a long-term goal for me. I showed exactly what I did. I told two par stories and I said what I would add to the program and what I want to continue doing with the program in order to achieve a new goal. Next, I'll talk about the resume. So the resume, um, all the stuff that I would previously talked about, that was all stuff to add to my resume. So I had my resume pretty, you know, formatted and well put out already. So I didn't really have to change much there. That was nice. And then finally, there was the video interview. I was able to kind of use what I learned in my career development class and use that PAR story that I was telling you about earlier. I talked about my strengths and I thought it was a really good interview. Those are the, I think, eight or nine things that I did for the marketing application. This application was a little bit less stressful for me. I knew that I had done everything I could to get into the program, and so I felt as though if I didn't get into the program, it would kind of be like God telling me that the major wasn't for me. And so here I am. I am a new junior marketing student in the Marriott School of Business, and I'm so excited for this fall. We have mostly in-person classes. Hopefully it stays that way. I am so, so, so excited to finally be in the program. And um, yeah, again, you guys can comment down below or DM me if you guys have any questions about the Marriott School or applying to the marketing program or any of the programs. I can always like reach out and find someone to help you. And good luck with your applications. I hopefully will see you guys in the next couple years at BYU. And also remember to like and subscribe and follow my Instagram account and everything. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.